Hi everyone! Today I want to talk to you about symmetry. We usually wait till the end of the year to teach symmetry in kindergarten because there's a lot of important things you need to know before we do it. And some of the things are the um, stuff that we learn in math for patterning and different ways to sort objects. So one of the things you need to know for um, before you do symmetry is your colors. So if you were doing a pattern of colors, that's an AB pattern, you might do blue, black, blue, black, blue. That's an AB pattern, A, B, A, B, A. You'd also need to know your shapes in kindergarten. So I've made another AB pattern with the shape changing. Triangle, circle, triangle, circle, triangle. That's another AB pattern, A, B, A, B. You also need to know different sizes. I've made another AB pattern with the size changing. Little circle, big circle. Little circle, big circle, little circle, big circle. A, B, A, B. And one thing we don't talk a lot about in kindergarten, but it's really important for grade one, is position. That means the way that the shape or whatever you're doing is facing. So this is a tall rectangle, and it's the same rectangle, just turned on its side. So tall, long, tall, long, tall, long. And again, that's an A-B pattern, A-B-A-B. -A -B. When you get to grade one, you might make patterns with a bunch of things changing. Like maybe you'll make an A-B pattern that has a blue circle and then a tall rectangle and then a small circle. So the color, the position, and the size would be changing. All of this stuff's really important to know because when you do symmetry, you need to look carefully at each of the shapes. So symmetry means that if, some, if there's a line down the middle, which is called the line of symmetry, it's almost the same on both sides, but actually it's a reflection, like it's looking in a mirror. So if I had a square on this side of the line of symmetry, I'd have to have another square on the other side of the line of symmetry. So it's a reflection. Some shapes would have, um, would have to be real, or you'd have to be really careful with the reflection. For example, if this triangle was on this side, it would have to be flipped over for the other side to be symmetrical because everything on one side of the line of symmetry has to be flipped for the other side. If something's close to the line of symmetry, on the other side, it has to be close to the line of symmetry. If something's far away from the line of symmetry, on the other side, it has to be far away too. And if all the attributes don't match, color, shape, size, and position, then it can't be symmetrical. So I've got a rectangle here, and even though these are almost the same size, they're the same color, and they're in the same position, long, they're not going to make us or make something symmetrical because the shape is actually different. So we can't use these to make a symmetrical picture. One of the easiest ways to do a symmetrical picture is a butterfly because butterflies are usually the same on both sides. So I've made some butterfly pictures and I want you to see if they're symmetrical. Here's the first one. So I know the colors are going to be symmetrical because I've only used gold. Now let's check the size, shapes, and positions. Circle on the outside, so far away from the middle. A circle here, triangle close to the middle. This is an irregular shape, so it's not a shape that I can easily name and it's the top square part is symmetrical and the bottom points are symmetrical, two small circles, that's symmetrical, and a diamond. Do you think this is a symmetrical butterfly? You're right, it is. This one's a little more complicated. Do you think it's symmetrical? Let's check. So a purple heart. That's right. One, two, 
three gold circles. The circle looks a little different, but it is symmetrical because it's flipped on this side. A star and a star. A line going out towards the wings and towards the wings. That's symmetrical. A pink rectangle, that's symmetrical. The um, yellow circle is symmetrical and a small green square. Is this a symmetrical butterfly? Yes, it is. I've made one more butterfly. Do you think this one is symmetrical? Now, one of the thing or one of the attributes or one of the shapes in this butterfly is it's this gold circle because it's close to the middle. It's the same shape, same size, and same color and same position. But there are actually five problems with this butterfly that don't make it select or symmetrical. If you want, you can pause the video here and see if you can find the five mistakes with this butterfly. Did you do it? Let's look at them together. Hmm. So the first shape I see is this pink square. Now the position looks like it's the same for the pink shape over here because it's near the end of the wing. The size is about the same or the same, um, uh, it's the same size, the color is the same, but the shape is different. So this is a square and that's a triangle. So this part is not symmetrical. Um, I've got a triangle here that's purple and a triangle here that's blue. So that's not symmetrical. The color is different. I've got a star here that's silver and a star here that's silver. But what's different? It's the size. And there's a rectangle here and a rectangle here. They're both green, but the position is different. Finally, one of the hardest things is the actual reflection. And that's in these orange hearts. So even though they're the same size, they're the same shape, they're the same color and the same position, they're not symmetrical because they don't show a reflection. A real reflection would have um, a heart here near the middle and a heart here. So if the heart was right here, then that would be symmetrical. Or this heart's near the outside of the wing. So if the heart was here and over here, then it would be symmetrical, but it's not. So that's our five problems. One, two, three, four, five. Can you make your own symmetrical butterfly? One easy way to do it is to fold the paper in half and you can trace the wings so that you know that the wings are symmetrical before you start drawing in um, your different shapes, colors, sizes, and positions. But it's actually really hard to make something perfectly, perfectly, perfectly symmetrical because even things that seem symmetrical might be a little bit off. Like, I'm not that great at drawing. I'm still working on it. So some of my positions and sides and shapes and colors um, are probably a little bit off. It's like when you look at someone's face. Even though it seems like a face would be symmetrical, there's actually small differences. For example, if you were to draw a line of symmetry down my face, a lot of things would be symmetrical. Like I have half of my glasses on this side, half of my glasses on this side, half of my nose, half of my nose, one eye and one eye, um, and half of my mouth and the other half of my mouth. But there's actually small differences. Like the part of my hair is right there and it's not right here. I have a small spot on my face here that's not over here. And I'm wearing a clip on this side, but I don't have one on this side. Can you see any differences in the symmetry of your face? There is one way to make something perfectly symmetry 
symmetrical. And that's if you use scissors. So I've made one last butterfly by folding the paper in half and cutting out some shapes. So I did a circle, a triangle, rectangle, a heart, a crescent, and some irregular shapes. That, those are shapes that I can't easily name. Like this one with zigzags, and this one down here that looks kind of like a speech bubble. And because that this, or because this is folded and you've cut it out, it's going to show a true reflection, something that'll be really symmetrical. So when you open it up, I'm just gonna put it on a black paper so it's easy to see. All the shapes are perfectly symmetrical because you've only cut them up once with the folded paper. So that's a great activity you can do at home. You could also collect stuff from nature and make a symmetry picture with dandelions and leaves and sticks and maybe anything you find outside. Or you could make one with magnets like I have on your fridge or even just drawing spun tea. We hope you have lots of fun making a picture that's symmetrical and finding lots of symmetrical things in your house. Thanks, bye-bye.